that play. Because I know more than everybody in here about what you're doing in my district. Yes, sir. I know how you manufacture votes. I know how you leave the votes in the machines. I know how you do it. And the thing is, we're not crazy. No, no, no. no. We're, we're not crazy. We're not, if I go outside of this building and I run a stop sign, I'm going to get stopped. They're going to ask me for what they need to ask me for. If I have warrants, I go to jail. Right? Your election administrator can violate the law and nothing is done. You can't ask the DA to do anything about these people because the voter harvesters worked on her campaign. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Oh, they want to talk. Yeah. See, when I come in the building, I can change the atmosphere. I'm the weatherman. <laughs> because I know what's going on. And they don't have the guts to stop me. They won't threaten me. I wish you would. Do you know what my pronouns are? I wish them. Yep, and so that's where he says the pronoun is a cuss word, and then everybody laughs, and then we'll continue. Here we go. Pronouns. And I stand for everybody in here, everybody in the county. So I'm going to read you something that came to me during early voting from a election judge, Democratic election judge on October 30th at 12, 12 p.m. They came by about 3 p.m. to pick up the ballots. My bag can hold 3,000. So my monitor down there with the numbers, they sent me an email to call and request for ballot bag replacement. I did not call them. Why was those ballots moved? Why did they move those machines in the middle of the day? You know why they moved those machines in the middle of the day? Because they manipulated those votes. So I'm going to say it in here. And I got I got a little time because we all in the same family. Yes, and I ain't going to hide nothing from what I feel is the worst criminal that I've ever laid eyes on in two years, Mr. Ellis. And I know you back there watching me. It's me versus you. And I'm going to drag you like a Persian rug. <laughs> I know y'all, y'all, they made y'all do something a few weeks ago where you removed a man and all that. I can call him a clown. I can call him whatever I want to call him. According to the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals, where I won 300000 against HIV for trying to restrict my speech. <laughs> so I'm going to tell you what we ain't going to do. As long as I don't curse him out, and as long as I don't threaten him, I can say what I want. Am I correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We sick and tired of that nigga that <laughs> We sick and tired of him. And guess what? It's going to be us to take that Negro out of that seat.